The worst thing was that they emailed. They didn't. E they emailed and said, "We want to talk to you in a week." So it was that they want to talk to us. We don't know what they want to talk to us about, but we need to talk to us in a week. And I think that was the hardest seven days waiting for that phone call. Yeah. And, yeah. And the fact was like, are they going to give us some money or no money? Are we not going to get anything? Or it was just that like completely up in the air. Because you'd gone on holiday at that stage, hadn't you? Mm -hmm. And it was meant to be a total break in the Outer Hebrides with nobody contacting me at all. For me, though, the hardest thing was the fact that, you know, this is like I'd invested so much and we'd invested so much of ourselves into that grant over that 12 month period. Yeah. yeah. And, and I had to go to a meeting and I sat between my colleagues and I co constantly thought, what's, what's she doing now? Where is she now? Will she come back? Uh, will she come back in tears or uh, what kind of tears actually? And uh, I couldn't listen to what they were saying, of course. Did we tell you we were having that phone no, call? No, I was blissfully <laughs> unaware on beaches in the Outer Hebrides. <laughs> I, was, I think that was it, because we decided that we weren't going to tell you until we knew, because yes. you were just worried about it. I'd been stood in the gin distillery on the Isle of Lewis the previous day, though, looking at my phone, shouting, Karen, ring me now. Now would be a good time. <laughs>